Space is an endless mystery. It holds things behind our comprehension. There are objects so far away from us that we can't even see them yet. We're still working on decoding what would happen if we were to travel through a black hole. Our exploration isn't simply for the accolades or to find new sources of wealth. We risk venturing beyond the safety and warmth of our planet to understand the infinite and explore everything we can of the finite. And we have barely scratched the surface. So no matter how hard we try to understand and explain our vast universe, there will always be mysteries out there that are yet to be unraveled. These include incredible, beautiful, intriguing exoplanets which we will travel to today. Gliese 436b, the planet that defies the laws of physics. We begin our journey here. Gliese 436b in the constellation of Leo. We are only 30 light years away from our home. Gliese 436b has one incredible feature. It defies the laws of physics. It orbits its star at a distance 15 times closer than Mercury is to the Sun. And yet its icy surface remains solid despite temperatures of 439 degrees Celsius or 822 degrees Fahrenheit. The gravity of this exoplanet is strong enough to compress the trace amount of water vapor in the planet's atmosphere into solid ice, which prevents it from melting no matter how much it burns. 55 Cancri E the Diamond Planet. We now make our way to 55 Cancri E, a mega-Earth planet roughly 40 light-years away from us in the constellation of Cancer. It revolves around a star that contains much more carbon than our Sun. The planet is so close to its parent star that it takes a mere 18 hours to complete a full orbit. But how long a day lasts on this planet is of little concern when you consider that the entire mass of this planet is pure carbon. Pressure and a maximum surface temperature of 2400 degrees Celsius or about 4400 degrees Fahrenheit has created diamonds on the surface of this planet. The large temperature variations on this planet might be due to volcanic activity that releases large clouds of dust, which lay a thick blanket over this planet and block thermal emissions. But it isn't the only planet abundant with precious stones. GJ1214b, the ocean planet. In the same neighborhood lies a planet covered entirely with water. GJ1214b has no land, only oceans that stretch across its entire surface. But it certainly isn't our backup for when Earth runs out of water. The water on this planet would have an alien consistency thanks to high temperatures and atmospheric pressures. GJ1214b is a bigger and hotter version of Jupiter's moon Europa. It orbits a small star and it isn't quite so far from us, opening new opportunities for habitable worlds. It is six times the size of our planet, but it is surrounded by a thick atmosphere in addition to being too wet and too hot. GJ504b, the pink planet. 57 light years away, is GJ504b, the pink planet, a resident of the Virgo constellation. This planet is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful we've found in the universe. Though a gas giant, the gravity here is 10 times stronger than what we see on Earth. The pink planet revolves 4.65 billion miles or 74.8 billion kilometers away from its host star, which is nine times the distance Jupiter orbits the Sun. Almost no light reaches the surface, but the planet emits its own beautiful hue of pink. It's a newly formed one, so it burns at 237 degrees Celsius or 460 degrees Fahrenheit, which allows it to glow the way it does. J1407b, the giant Saturn. Let's venture a little further. 433.8 light years away, you'll find the J1407b. This exomoon's massive system of circumplanetary rings is about 640 times what Saturn possesses. It is located in the constellation of Centaurus. If this planet swapped places with Saturn, its rings would dominate our night sky and appear larger than a full moon. There's a significant gap halfway through this ring system, and it's possible 
a Mars-sized exomoon orbits the planet within this gap. Should there be extraterrestrial life residing on this Mars-sized planet, they have a view unparalleled to ours. 564.3 light-years away from home is another mega-Earth. Kepler 10c, the planet that shouldn't exist. Kepler 10c, in the constellation of Draco, is twice the size of our planet, but weighs 17 times as much. This can only mean the planet is dotted with dense rocks and solids, something we once thought was impossible for a planet of this size. Typically, mega planets like these snatch hydrogen gas as they grow and become gas giants, much like Jupiter and Neptune. Kepler 10c orbits its star every 45 days, and it's too hot to sustain life as we know it. WASP 12b, the darkest planet. From one anomaly to another, we venture 870.8 light years away from home to WASP 12b, the darkest known planet. This rather odd planet is one of a class of so called hot Jupiters that orbit close to their host stars and heat up to high temperatures. The day side of this planet eats light rather than reflecting it into space. WASP 12b has the unique capability of trapping 94% of all visible starlight that enters its atmosphere, which heats up to about 8300 degrees Celsius or 4600 degrees Fahrenheit. Its night side is much cooler, running at about 2200 degrees Celsius or 4000 degrees Fahrenheit, allowing water vapor and clouds to form. A swirl of material from the planet's superheated atmosphere is now spilling onto its star. Hat B7b, but it rains rubies and sapphires. 1,044 light years away lies another planet dotted with precious stones, like the diamond planet. Its night side has high precipitation of aluminum oxide and corundum in the atmosphere. Corundum gems are rubies and sapphires, so one could describe the hypothetical weather on Hat B7b as raining rubies and sapphires. Landing here, however, will not be a piece of cake. The exoplanet suffers violent storms, but it also means these rubies and sapphires are scattered planet-wide. PSRB 1620, the oldest known planet. The estimated age of our universe is 13.77 billion years. And this 13 billion year planet is about as old as an object in this universe can get. PSR B1620 lies 12,390 light years away from us, and it formed around a young star barely a billion years after our universe birth in the Big Bang. This ancient planet orbits a peculiar pair of burned out stars in the crowded core of a cluster of more than 100,000 stars. It was identified by the Hubble Space Telescope in 2003, and the nature of the planet was initially debated by scientists. Was it a planet or a brown dwarf? PSR B1620 is about twice the size of Jupiter, which makes it a planet. Its very existence provides compelling evidence that the first planets formed rapidly within a billion years of the Big Bang. It seems exploring the universe isn't just about learning or finding habitable planets. We have a limited understanding of our universe. So it's only natural we theorize about worlds beyond our known, using the knowledge we have. When we look outwards into the night sky, it isn't just for answers, it is to be humbled. Previously believed notions are abandoned quickly when we find objects and phenomena that challenge our ideas about the universe. <laughs>